Hi guys. Now, I'm sure like me, in your workshop you've got hundreds, probably even thousands of tools. And they're all useful and they all have their own purpose. But there's one tool that's probably more useful than most of the other tools put together. And that, of course, is the Dremel, the electric Swiss Army knife. Come with me, let's take a look at it. So first up, this is the box it comes in. Full colour box, so nice packaging. So you can see the photographs on the front. Uh, tells you what's included in the box. And on the back, you've got some information on the different models available and some of the accessories that you can get. So nice, lovely, attractive gift packaging. Uh, inside the box, we have this lovely... Um, case that it comes in. It's kind of semi-rigid. It's a bit like um, some of the camera cases that you might see around now. Zippered all the way around. Nice Dremel logo on the front. Uh, we open it up and uh, we can see what we've got here. Let's just turn that around for you. So here we have the tool itself. This is the Dremel 3000 version. Uh, this is the UK version so it comes fitted with a British UK plug. Um, we have a little plastic box here uh, with some accessories to get you started. So let's take it out and let's see what we've got. So here we have the Dremel 3000. Um, first of all the cable is permanently attached and I can tell you that the power cord here is about six and a half feet long. It's a little bit longer than I am. We've got a hanging hook on the back so this falls out there. So you can put this um, on a hook or a nail if you want to hang it up. This is particularly useful not only for storage but also if you're using the flexi shaft attachment you're going to want to use that to hang it up. We have the variable speed control here. At the front you have the spindle lock. This is the screw cap. This unscrews and you can use this threaded connector at the end here for attaching different accessories. Right at the end there we've got the chuck and another thing to point out is at the side here you've got various air vents both at the back and front. Okay so this is to keep the unit cool. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at some of these features. The underside of the unit is coated in a very soft kind of rubberized material and this is very nice and comfortable and very grippy. There's an indentation at the back here so you can put your fingers in there and hold it like that or if you prefer you can hold it further down near the tip or you can even hold it with a pencil grip like that. So for fine intricate work you can hold it at the end here in what's referred to as a pencil grip so just grab it at the end there like a pencil and you can see your fingers are very close to the tip there so for fine engraving and curving work this really is a comfortable way to work again all the rubberized material is in contact with your hand so it's really comfortable and a nice safe solid grip changing accessories is really really simple make sure that the unit's not switched on and that it's stopped rotating you need to press the button at the end there and what that does is that is what's called the spindle lock and that will lock the spindle from rotating pop your brush into the end. Uh, I've got a little uh, nylon brush here. Keep the button pressed and just tighten it. So I'm tightening it this way towards myself. Release the button, make sure that it rotates freely and that it can rotate and that the locks come off and then start up your Dremel as always, start it off slow and build it up to the speed that you want to work at. Again, to change the accessories, press the button, turn the chuck, unscrew it, replace it, and away you go. Simple as that. Nice and fast and easy. Now, you have a little spanner that comes with the kit, so you can use that if you want for tightening up your collet there. But another alternative is to use the easy twist here. So if you just press the, the button there, you can unscrew that and there's a little spanner built in here, hopefully you can see that. So just pop that onto your nut and you can use that to very quickly adjust and tighten 
your collet there and then pop it back on and screw it out of the way. So the Dremel Easy Twist, a nice useful little addition there. Now this is the collet, this is what holds your mandrel into the chuck and you can see it's split into four sections and when it's compressed when you tighten up the chuck you can see it kind of closes up, it goes smaller and it grips the mandrel. So these come in different sizes depending on the diameter of the mandrel that you want to use. So the collet fits into the end of the Dremel there and then you've got your nut which goes on over the end. And as I tighten up the nut you can see that compressing there and you can see the collet getting smaller inside there. So that's basically how it works. So you might want to get yourself a selection of collets for doing different jobs. Now, let's have a look at some of these accessories that come bundled with it. So this is a small black nylon brush. And this is really good for cleaning. And if you use polishing compound with it, you can use these for polishing. I use a lot of these, particularly with the intricate jewellery. And you can really see there it gets into all the little nooks and crannies and does a really great job. Now this is little sanding disc and these are really great for removing rust, heavy corrosion from metal or for sanding and shaping wood, plastics and softer materials. Now in order to change them you need to just put a screwdriver in the end there and unscrew that little nut. You don't need to remove it completely, just loosen it. Now you might find it easier to do this when it's actually in the Dremel and press the, the spindle lock so that stops it rotating. And you should be able to pull that off. And if you get one of the others, there's a couple supplied in the kit to get you started. This is a slightly finer one you see. And what you do is you slip it on and then you need to tighten up that screw and what happens is the barrel is rubber and as you tighten that screw up it squeezes it together and causes it to expand and as it expands it grips your sanding belt so make sure that it's centralized and just using the screwdriver just tighten that up the kit here comes with a couple of different grades of sandpaper but what I would recommend is Get yourself two or three of these little rubber mandrels and then you can have them set up in different grades of sandpaper. So when you want to change sandpaper, you just have to change the mandrel. It's a lot faster. Now this is a cut-off disc and this is a herd brittle abrasive disc. And you can use these for cutting off the top of screw heads, nails or working with things like minerals and plastics and things like that and you notice a little hole in the middle and these are designed to fit onto a mandrel so I'll just show you how to do that so here we have the mandrel and you need to take the little screw out of the end and to pop that through the hole in the middle and just put your finger on it and then turn it over and screw your mandrel on and I've just got my finger on the back there and screw it on just till it's finger tight Okay, and that's fine, you don't want to over tighten it because these things are brittle and they will snap and then once again just pop that straight into the Dremel and tighten up the chuck and that is a very very useful thing and I'll demonstrate that in a second for you. Now here we've got a little orange grindstone and again you can get a vast assortment of these different sizes, different grits, different materials and these are good for grinding on herder materials like metal, ceramic, glass or even minerals and lapidary stuff, gemstones I use these a lot for shaping and filing silver and gold and as I say they come in a variety of sizes they're also very good for sharpening things so if you've got chisels or scissors just pop this in your Dremel run it along the end and it's great for sharpening things 
Now this kit comes with a drill and so you can use the Dremel for drilling but remember I was telling you about the collet inside there you can only fit one size of drill in here if you want to use different drills there's two options you can get drills where they are all mounted on the same shank but you have different size drills at the end or you can get an adjustable three jaw chuck for fitting into the Dremel so you might want to investigate those different accessories if you want to do a lot of drilling of holes now lastly we have some little hard felt polishing pads here and these are designed to be used with polishing compounds for example jewelers use these with jewelers rouge but you need some kind of polish to use these with and these go onto little screw mandrel you'll see there's a little screw thread on the end and simply it goes in and very gently you want to turn it round and it will just screw in and it's very important that you don't over tighten this otherwise you'll just kind of pull them apart and once that's on nice and firm that's it and when it goes in the Dremel you need to use a bit of polish like I said Jewelers Rouge and these are great for polishing silver and gold so hopefully you can see that a rotary tool is useful but why buy a Dremel? well a couple of reasons first of all the quality look at it it's superb quality it feels great in your hand it's well balanced it's smooth it doesn't rattle and vibrate it's great quality tool and it will last for years the second thing and this is perhaps one of the biggest selling points is that this is one of the biggest selling rotary tools in the world it probably is the biggest selling rotary tool in the world and so you can get accessories spur parts and all the support that you need it's a popular tool okay so you're not just buying a, a one-off strange thing and the other thing is check out Dremel's website and I urge you to do that because you will be astounded at some of the accessories that you can buy for this um, there's obvious things like a drill stand but there's flexible shafts there's all kinds of things that screw onto the end here uh, handles different uh, attachments saws sanding attachments rotor attachments you can get a long flexi shaft uh, there's different ways of holding it drill stands horizontal stands little girds and fences to attach to the end it's almost infinite variety and if you have a look through the manual that comes with it you'll see some of them but like i said do check out dremel's website and of course the other thing is the actual burrs and brushes and accessories at the end there the list is infinite you've got 15 you know i can probably show you 15,000 of these things brushes wire brushes polishing pads little rubber burrs uh diamond things engravers sanding stones polishing mitts there's it's infinite there's thousands so whatever job you do and whatever material you work with there's going to be a burr or a tool that you can use with it there's going to be an accessory that's going to help you do that all powered by the fantastic Dremel 3000 so get onto Dremel's website check out the rest of the range you've not just bought a tool you've bought an investment and it's the start of a huge electric toolkit system so check it out I hope you found this useful this really is just an introduction to what this tool can do I've been Dave Wilson Thank you very much for watching. Check out the rest of my videos on YouTube. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.